it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and today I'm back with another haul video. Barb is here. So we've got a lot of great things to show you today. So she bought some paintings and things that weren't even in the haul, uh, in the shop along video. So you'll see them first today as well as some things that I bought from yesterday's video that you have not seen either. So let's jump right on in. I'm going to start with this first thing. It's pretty popular because it's what my logo is based on. Once upon a time, my logo was this, but I decided to, to actually come up with something a little bit more uh, original. So this is what kind of gave me the idea of the balloon pattern for my logo. And it has the hot air balloon right there. There's one of them. And then there's like another one here. But this one here is sort of what really, what really gave me the idea of it. This is the little dip bowl. It's part of a chip and a dip bowl set. It's in the 1958 promotional pattern called balloons. It's Pyrex, by the way, I didn't say that. But they only made them in a dip bowl and a chip bowl. This is the dip and the chip bowl would have been a larger, a larger one, uh, also with the little Cinderella spouts and it would have hung on the side of it with like a little special clip. But the clips are very hard to find. Although there are people that make the, uh, they make replacement clips. And there, they were, there were other chip and dip bowl sets, not just in the, not just in the balloons pattern. But yes, so I decided to buy that. It was $22 plus 10% off. So I got it for about $20. And so I will, I think it's going to sell for about 60, 60 or so dollars plus shipping. I'll put this one on eBay. It's in pretty good shape. There are minor issues. You might not be able to see because the light's coming the wrong direction, but right through here, if the light is passing through like my side, you can see those those uh, issues, but it, overall it's in a really nice shape for that bowl. So that's what I, that's, that's one thing that I particularly went back for is that bowl. Uh, why don't you, you can show one of your restaurant things. Are we doing like, we're just combining both of the places, right? Yeah. Okay. We, we went to a couple places uh, in yesterday's video. So Here's one thing that they didn't see. So this is, well, I guess it's easier to hold it up. A little mood ring. It's a mood ring. <laughs> I wonder if it'll change color. No, it would take On too me? long probably. Sometimes it does it right away and sometimes it's it It's turning it. amber. I don't know. It's a, oh, it's Oh, it did, yeah. It's going, it's going dark. <laughs> That's what it usually does. Sometimes yeah. it turns blue when I put it's it It's sort of an amber color. Yeah. Okay. So it was $5. It was just a fun little thing I thought I'd grab. Barb bought the mood ring. It was... <laughs> Oh yes, yeah, so it was. That's the one. Okay, uh -huh. I was for a second mixing it up with your other one. Oh yeah. So she bought that for five dollars. That was a pretty good find, and you're, you've been kind of getting into jewelry lately. Just well, the, just random the, rings just, that I like, but no more like thirty dollar ones like that other one, or it was almost thirty dollars. Five dollars is better, unless I know what it is or it's diamonds. <laughs> diamonds. Yeah, we like them. I also bought these little figurines here. These were you get the pair for five dollars, or I I get the pair for five dollars. But they're really cute. They've got the little ducks. See them? Little ducks. They're really cute. They're marked on the bottom Shirley, 1981. So I'm guessing Shirley painted these or made them. They're really nice though. I can't believe that just a random person did that. It's, I mean, it's made really well and it's a cast piece. So I'm not sure about that. Maybe Shirley got these as a gift or something. I don't know. Could be. Each March Shirley, 1981. Maybe I should look that up. It might be a, a collectible ceramics company named Shirley. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but they're very cute and they're free of chips or cracks. So I got those. Oh, I did not look this one up yet, Barb. You were thinking Rio Hondo, perhaps? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, it looks like it favors that with the way with the way that it looks. With the so it might be Rio Hondo or another California. I think that pottery. chic pottery is similar and there might even be another one. All right. Well, I paid three fifty for it and it's very goofy looking. It's a different kind of a little dog figurine. So, cat. I, is it? I thought it was okay, a cat. It's a cat, I think. I don't <laughs> know. Thinks. We don't know. It's just an animal. <laughs> but um, this might go on a Friday night live sale for that one. But yeah, that Pyrex bowl will be on eBay right now. It's on eBay right now. Here's another eBay item that's online right now. I went back for this too. So it's a Enid Collins box purse with the original box. So you could walk around like that <laughs> if you wanted to. And it slides out 
Ah, it has a cable car on it. It's called cable car, by the way. Isn't that beautiful? I even like the back of it. The wood's pretty. The wood the grain is pretty. So you can open it up. Or no, it was already locked. Okay, like that. Oh, there's a card in here. Oh. So there's, it? it's the card, the original card. Oh yeah. If you, no, for you who have a flair for the truly distinctive and original by Collins of Texas. You see that? It has the mirror, beautiful. Wow. Okay, that's, that's nice. So it has a little strap on there and it goes into place. I paid, it was $55 with 40% off. Yeah, wasn't cheap, but I'm pretty sure I can sell this for about $60. <laughs> for about $60 or so, uh, plus shipping. I'm gonna put it up on auction. We'll see what happens with it. I got that box purse. Also, I got a couple others, as you saw in the video. I got this one. This has the Fleur de Lis on it multiple times. It's in this lighter pine kind of a color, but it has the floor to lead right there, 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 right there. And it is missing one star and then a couple rhinestones. Now the rhinestones are easy enough to, to um, find maybe. You can get replacements at the craft store, but all in all, it's in pretty nice shape for this box purse. It has the lighter coloration. Oh, it says flower of the lily on it with the Enoch Collins logo. And then, original box stuff written there so i paid 12 i paid 12.50 for this one thought that was a pretty good price for the box purse as it is and then the last one i got from the, the lady in donaldson illinois is this one one of my favorites actually yeah i like that one and the, the cable car one they even yeah. they're really good together if you were going to display sure. them instead of use them this is bird in the hand or bird in hand it's beautiful, it has that very atomic, retro, mid-century. We got Starburst in the background, the wonderful jewel tones. That brown, I love the, this brown color background uh, for the wood grain. Ah, oh, it's lovely. This one I paid $24 for, and here's the inside. So I think that's a really good one. Really fun find, has the black handle. So yes, I'm basically hoping to double my money on those. Uh, at a minimum, so we'll see what happens. I took a little bit of a chance on them, but uh, those are my very first Enid, Enid Collins purses, and I bought three in the same day, <laughs> which was sort of funny. Let me show you something sort of outrageous. It's 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 a it's a foot. <laughs> it's a plastic foot. Um, so I bought this just because it's neat. Uh, why though? Maybe because it's different, and I figured somebody out there would want to have this, I don't, I guess you could put your necklaces around it. Or ankle something. bracelet. Ankle bracelet display. Uh, it's just, it's just funny. So it's a 19, do we know maybe? There's a patent number on here. It might be 1950s or so, 50s or 60s. It has painted nail polish, a little bit worn away. But yeah, it's this plastic foot. So, um, I think I'll put this on eBay as well and just see what happens. I, I believe I paid, was it three? It was somewhere between three to five dollars for that. Just took a chance. I thought it was kind of different. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's different. <laughs> I showed it to her. I'm like, what? She was like, why? I'm like, because <laughs> it's different. <laughs> and it's just funny. So we'll try that out. Um, let's, should I, you could show one of your uh, something, your, maybe one of her paintings. Okay. This is a good one. Yeah, these were from our first stop at wherever it was. Third um, Street Market yes. in, in and, Greenville, Illinois. Yes, and they had a bin with um, paintings and pictures for 50% off. So this was one of them, and it was $5 with the 50% off. And I just thought it was a cute little painting, and I hung it in my son's room. He actually said, don't take my painting when I just took it off the wall for the video. Was that Hudson's room? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, he liked it. So, yeah, it's cute. <laughs> okay, so that's, that. how much was it? It was $5. $5, that's a great price. Now I did get some more strawberry items. I, I, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. I was over in another booth and all this, or, and then all of a sudden it was like, you had like this whole group of strawberry items. 
<laughs> that happened. So yeah, I wasn't expecting to buy all of these things, but there they were. And I, I figured, wow, these prices are pretty good. So, and now they took the price tags off of these, so I'm not sure, but um, let's say anywhere between three and $4 on each of these next group of things I'm gonna show. But this is a little strawberry mug. Figured it was really cute and it has the bees on it. See there, strawberry ceramic mug. So that's just cute as it is. You could, you know, put a plant in it or whatever, use it if you want, but it's very nice. I'd like that to focus a little bit better than it is. There we go. Isn't that lovely? So I got that one and another one. So I've got two of those and got this little sugar guy here, or it's a creamer, not a sugar. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's, Ot it's Otagiri, by the way. So that was a big reason I got it. Now this one might've been $4. So I'm expecting to sell each one of these for about $9 to $10. I think I think they'll do that. Uh, this is an Otagiri 1982. It's really pretty. No chips or cracks on the creamer with this kind of basket weave background, as you can see there. Yeah, it's lovely. And then I got this one. This is hand-painted Japan. It has the strawberries. That's really pretty. Love it. And the nice handle. It is marked hand painted Japan on the bottom for that like little little pitcher. And then more strawberries. This one here reminds me of Otagiri in a way. It's a stoneware and it has the brown speckle background. Here it is with the strawberries and the basket and the leaves and it has a lid. That's super fun. So yeah, I like the, I like the lid aspect on there. Whoa, I almost lost the lid. This one I might have paid five dollars for, maybe. Uh, it's pretty neat, and I could probably sell that one for about twelve with the lid and everything. And then the last strawberry item I got from that one place were these: these strawberry salt and the peppers. Could not pass those up. I think they were like three or four dollars as well. You know, they might have been up to five dollars. I'm not sure, and I would sell them for about ten to twelve. But yeah, I was just like, oh, all these cute strawberries, I have to get them, so I got them. And um, I just thought of something. What? When is there like early strawberry items? Like, you know, say like 1910s or something like porcelain. Was strawberries ever popular then? Like, would you have found a whole bunch? Like, I don't know. I don't know either. I know they're popular in the 40s, 40s and 50s. Yeah. It's like all of a sudden there they came. And then like some of the stuff was like the 80s, like some of these, it was popular again, but right. I don't know. I don't know. So that kitschy style basically is what you're talking about. I guess. I I was just saying strawberries in general. Cherries like were the, popular in the maybe the, the mid to late 30s, right? Okay. Cherry items and into the 40s and 50s. Well, cherries are pretty much always popular, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. But strawberries? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> uh, you can show one of your next items, okay. Barb. I guess I'll just do the rest of the pictures. So this one... I want to see if anybody has any opinions on this one of how old they think it is. Okay. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh. Um, and it's paper is falling off. All right. So there's the front. It's a cruel C R E W E L cruel. And it has that yarn work in there or embroidery work, stitch work, fancy yeah. work. So, I mean, it's got an old frame. There's the frame. I don't know. I just like. So we're looking for a date frame, a date on here. Now look at the back. This looks older on the back. I'm immediately thinking 20s, 30s. That's what I was thinking too. But yeah. So I don't know the value on some. Like I had a hard time when I tried looking it up. Like what to think the value of something like that would be. But I don't think it's 50s or the 60s or the 70s. I, I think so. I think. Honestly, sometime between the 20s and 40, very early 40s. Yeah. And I did pay more for this one. This one was, I believe it was around 20 or $22. But there's a lot of detail in that flowers, yeah. the flowers, so it's, I think it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Lovely. And I also bought, let's see, let's do a couple figurines. I bought this little dog here. This was $2.50. Pretty great price for it. Nice little hound kind of a dog. No chips or cracks, and that will go in a Friday night sale. It's pretty, it's really pretty. Then I bought this here. It's a swan planter. Bought that in Donaldson, Illinois. 
in really nice shape actually. This was $5. I figure I can sell it for about 12 or so. Swans maybe coming back in style. Maybe. maybe. Not goose, not geese yet. <laughs> not gooses and geeses. Not, not quite yet. Maybe soon. I feel like a lot of things are suddenly like exciting that we thought we shouldn't even buy like a year ago. Isn't that the truth? Well, that's good. It's just, it opens up more doors. Yep. Here's another, I want to say strawberry, but it's, it's, a, it's an owl. It just reminds me of a strawberry. It does. I never noticed that. So we've got this owl with the bubbles inside. We call those controlled bubbles. Whenever you see all those little dots in there, see how pretty they're all lined up. They were done on purpose. Beautiful. This was $4. No chips or cracks. It's beautiful though. And it's blown. Blown glass. There is a pontile mark on the bottom that's been ground down a little bit smoothed from... Oh, wait a minute. What? I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, here's the deal. It was blown glass interior and then mold... The, the owl was molded around... Is that oh, what she would say? It has a mold line. There's mold lines. And I was like so confused. Okay. But there's like a pontile on the bottom. That is, yeah. Silly. So that's kind of a first. Very different. But there is definitely mold lines around around the around the owl. But then you've got the blown glass in the uh, middle. So that's, that's very different. That will probably go on a Friday Night Live sale as well. Then I got two horse chalkware heads. These are made by Miller Studios 1951. Very cool. Look at those, beautiful. And they're in really nice shape considering because chalkware tends to be very chippy. It's not like a ceramic material. It's, it's not as durable really, but the color on here is beautiful. And you have the Miller Studio mark right on the bottom, 1951, and it's a pair of, pair of them and both overall nice shape. I paid $10 for these, uh, but I think I could put those on a Friday night live sale and they'll sell for about 18 to 20 for the pair of them. They're very cool. Uh, why don't you go ahead and show, oh, you've only got one thing left. No, you got no, two I things left. Things. Okay, so Barb will show another item of hers. So this was another picture from that 50% off and I feel like I kind of shouldn't have bought it. It's a paint by number, why. right? Yeah, I think so, but here's the thing. She'll tell me why. I don't know how we need to get it without how knocking much everything it? over. It was only $5. I think, yes. I Wait, think, was it? I think so. I'm pretty I think sure. It, I think it was too. So it's a paint by number of a sailboat. It is framed. The frame isn't that exciting. Right. But you can take it out of the frame. Well, you would think so, but wait. <laughs> what? Like, so I did try to take it out of the oh, frame. You did? And guess what? Is it glued? It's on paper and it's attached to this matting. It's not on that like thicker cardboard like paint by numbers usually are. Oh, really? Because I thought it would be like my others and I could just take it out because I may not even frame all the others I have. So can you cut, cut it out? Cut it out on the cardboard? I mean, I could it? obviously somehow put it in a different frame, I'm sure, but yeah, I don't know. I don't Darn. get it. Darn. But well, it was only $5. And... I mean, that's super cheap for a paint by number yeah. of a sailboat. I think that's a great deal still. Yeah. It's a project. That's the point that you probably weren't looking for a project. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Okay. So then let's see it. Okay. Let's do a couple pieces of jewelry. So I did get some jewelry and I'll start with the sailboat. It's a sailboat pin. It's also a pendant, so you can hang it either way. Stained glass with the beautiful slag glass in there of the sailboat. And there's the back. I paid $5 for this. I figured that wasn't too bad, and I would sell it for probably five to 10. Five, no, <laughs> five to 10. <laughs> for 10 to $12 uh, for that. It's in great shape. It's still on the backer card. Easily regiftable too. Then, then this right here was really cool. It is a reticulated, no, articulated. It's an articulated fish. Articulated, really? Because it moves. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It, it, yeah. So it's very, very cool. Oh, it's beautiful with the blue enameling. So you can hang that from a pendant. Ooh, that is kind of fun. Fishy, fishy. I didn't know that it moved around like that. Yeah. Or there, or here. <laughs> <laughs> or 
<laughs> like that you like they catch like you catch them so i paid five dollars for this one as well and i'll probably sell it for about 10 to 10 to 12 i feel like it's worth more like maybe around 14 dollars. so it might be as much as that i'll decide but it's very very different so i bought that one and the last one i bought is actually a set it has a biplane with these like uh, little diamond looking things on them it's a costume jewelry of course but there's the plane right and then there's matching two matching earrings right here and there's so there's two of those and this one this is a brooch you can hang that on yourself and hang those on your ears for the pair of those so it's a three-piece plain set and I paid five dollars for that one and it would also sell for about twelve to fourteen dollars I think it's very very cool now you can show your last item well, Which it's is actually, we'll just do them together. Okay. That's fine. So these were both purchased in Donaldson at the Loose Caboose. And this is a little restaurant where, like, probably bread plate, I guess you'd call it. It has the pink, ro or like this reddish pink roses transferred on. And it's made by Rimrall. Shenango. Shenango Pottery Rimrall. It was a dollar. It was a so. dollar. I think it's a pretty good price for that. It's a cute yeah. little accent piece. And this one's cool. Got a soup. I really like that one. Two-handled soup mug. And this one I paid five dollars for. But it's older and it's got that really neat pattern. What does it say on there? I think 1926. Registered Germany. Yeah, it's Albert Pick and Co. 1926. Black Knight. It's real. There's a lot of information on the back there of this is. one. I'll show you that a little bit longer. So all that's written on the bottom. And there looks like there's embossings on the side here. They really wanted like to say who yeah. they were. <laughs> oh, what does that say? I don't know if I ever did really. It's a number. 760 slash DD. I don't know. Maybe it marked a year or, or something. Of the, well, no, they already had the year. I have no idea. We don't know. <laughs> um, okay, two things to go. This is a, just a cute little pottery boot. It was three dollars. I decided to buy it, but I—I I mean, my goodness. So I'll—I'll I'll, I'll sell it for between six and eight dollars. You can put a plant hanging out of the shoe or something. It's just a cute little blue, baby booty shoe. I bought that. And the last thing, I was going to get the first time I was there, but then I talked myself out of it. But luckily, whenever I went again, I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger. But they're very cool. So it is the Rolls Aluminum Salt and Pepper Shakers. And the paint job on those are still really well. Still really good. You can see the pepper. It's The white is very clean on there. Sometimes you find these, they're worn away. I mean, you can repaint them, but it's in very nice shape with the rolled aluminum. So you got the pepper and the salt and the flour, which is very different to find. These like little ones. Flour, sugar, okay, and then the grease. And it has the strainer. So I paid twenty-five dollars about for all of these. They make a cute little set. Although I think I'm going to sell them separately. Oh. No, maybe I will keep them together. And I think I'm going to put them in a Friday night sale. Oh, I see what you mean. Like you think maybe these and then this. Um, because those are all the shakers I'm, and this. All together, things. yeah. All together, I'm going to sell them for between fifty-five and sixty dollars as a set. If I were to sell them as a set, mm -hmm. but if I piece them out. Then we're looking at salt and pepper at $15, oh. sugar and flour at $20, and the grease jar at $20 to $25. Uh, so we will, I will find out what I think is best to do with that. I'm not sure. I actually have some canisters downstairs, the larger canisters that would have been on a, the thing, and I think they match really well to that. That's true. I'll think about it. I don't know if I want to like, like I could do it the entire set, which would be even more extravagant. Mm -hmm. And I have a matching cake cover of wow. the same, I know. <laughs> I don't have the uh, the glass plate that goes with it. You could pretty much use your own glass plate, but it's the aluminum. Mmm. I wonder if I should do all that. That'd be a nice big old set. But that is that is everything. I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.